Just found out there was an event on tomorrow at Suzuka Twin. That's about two and a half hours from my house. I'm totally unprepared. It's nine o'clock at night and I'm gonna go drive it. So, <laughs> I'm going to put a fuel filter on the car that I got in the mail today. I've got a sandwich plate to put on the car so I can connect my oil pressure gauge. And I think I need to wire in a DEFI boost gauge that I have here because the boost gauge is in the car. I don't think it's working at all. I also think there's an issue with the wastegate or something to do with the turbo, maybe, because I couldn't get the boost tee to work that I bought. So I let the dog free boost and it still only felt like it was on like five pound so yeah let's get into getting this car ready fuel filter first yeah, 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 yeah. let's see how dirty this is black <laughs> new boost gauge is installed okay it's two o'clock Got to be up at five to head to Casey's to buy some wheels off him because I have no other wheels. So, yes, I'm going to go to sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. Sorry, it's 5 a.m. Went to bed at 2. A couple of hours of sleep's enough. All right, we're heading to Casey's from Shirts Tucked In to buy some wheels uh, and some gloves because you need gloves for Suzuka Twin. Let's get going. I packed everything last night, so it's all sitting here at the front door. This is to help me not forget absolutely anything. <laughs> so if I put it at the front door, I can't walk past it without picking it up and putting it in the car. Right, let's load all this stuff in. All right, car's all packed. Let's go. What are we gonna get for breakfast? Okay, so breakfast consisted of a ham and cheese burrito, some original Pringles, and some chocolate macadamia. Chocolates. Delicious. Take the ramp to Osaka. Oh, just pulling up to Casey's now to pick these wheels up. Got some gloves as well because you need gloves to drive at Suzuka Twin. Once more, massive thank you to Casey for that. And now we're just getting something at 7 Eleven. Keen to drive. It just started snowing. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so a little bit of a mish thus far. And the weather forecast yesterday said it wasn't meant to be raining, but it's snowing, so it's exciting. <laughs> Okay. 
So when you get here, you gotta pay $5 entry. If you've entered the event or if you're drifting or grip racing, you gotta pay $5 entry regardless. I don't know how much the event is today. Um, it's usually hourly that you can come here and you can usually drive um, like anytime you want. So I am aware of. Um, but yeah, today's an event, so I don't know how much it is. I suppose I'll get my Google Translator out and find out shortly. This is cool. trucks in Japan. So many cool tow trucks. Alright, we're here. That so was $120 for the day to drive. And we're in group D. B is us. I'm number 50. Oh, I don't know where I am on there. Maybe I'm in group A. Oh yeah, here we go. D, group D, sorry. And this is the event schedule. So it runs in 10 minute intervals throughout the whole day until four o'clock or so. All right, let's uh, do some skid. Okay, so just check the car up to give it a little check over before I start driving and oh hey, look at this ball joint. Okay, just went out for my first session, did like two laps, smelt a bit of fuel leaking out of the fuel tank, so I'd say that O-ring is probably fucked, which is a little bit annoying, not sure what to do there, but yes, uh, and it's also not making boost at all. Just checked all the cooler pipes, standard ECU, airflow meter is on there, so you would think it'd be playing up if something was off, but yes, I am now just about to yank the intake off and um, check the turbo to make sure it feels all right and also check the wastegate actuator. All right, starting to rain now as well. Annoying. All right guys, well I can't seem to get to the issue of working out why it doesn't have boost. Um, I've taken the line completely off to let it free boost and it'll only still make like maybe three pound. I uh, checked the turbo and the turbo seems fine. I haven't pulled the rear dump off and checked the rear housing. Um, but yeah, check the wastegate actuator that moves in and out. Um, once more though, it's like I literally let it free boost with it to not actuate whatsoever and it just does not make boost. I can't imagine it's a possibility, but the dump pipe is maybe one and a half inches doesn't even look like it's two or the front pipe sorry so i'm not sure if possibly that is just totally restricting it but i honestly can't see it only making that little boost from that so it's, yes i'm not sure a little bit baffled but let's drive in the rain and it was good because i could do skids it's freezing here you can see how windy it is just clean the whole inner cooler out and I want some jazz, so I suppose we'll see how we go now. I'll give you guys a little walk through the pits. Fairly big event. We used to split up into four groups. I don't know if two of them are intermediate. Um, and one's advanced and one's beginner, but yeah, some pretty gangster content. This Z over here is actually fucking cool as it's like full wide bodied and stuff. And he drives the shit out of it. I've seen this guy at Bahoku. Look at the uh 
like grinder style on the body. So cool. I need to wash my hands, they are disgusting. Nicky's here. Alright, let's go get some food. Let's go wash our hands. So that was fun. A bit odd getting used to these gloves and the seating position is a little bit weird. The steering wheel is a little bit close to my liking and I'd like to have the car with a little bit more caster so it self steers on itself. But other than that, just need to fix this boost issue and looks like I've got something, maybe an engine bay fire. Thankfully no engine bay fire, it was just a line that runs off the top of the rocker cover down to the back of the breather. It's like this cheap garden hosing looking line on there so I've cut it back and put some like a wet towel around it and zip tied it on. Did burn my, burn my hand pretty good. See a little white Johnny there, putting that on but our next session's not for another hour so we're just sitting in the car because it's miserable. And the, the wind is so hectic here. All right, well, still no boost, but if it keeps raining, we can keep driving. All right, it's kids. Well, the track's still wet, it stopped raining. So, I'm gonna go out and do more skids. Hopefully the towel doesn't catch on fire. <laughs>
was so much fun. Hopefully I got a lot of those clips. It's very similar to entry to short track at uh, Queensland Raceway. That was really fun. Yeah, I don't think that's good. It's me though.
camera to a new position of film, which would have been sick, but it ran out of battery. So that's it over there. I'm gonna try that for the next event. All in all, sick day. Would have been good if I had boost, but the runs I got at the end of the day were so much fun. So it's been worth it all. It does have an exhaust manifold leak now, so it's a good excuse to take the turbo off. Listen to that. Disc course dead. So yes, I'm gonna take that off, work out what's going on with this boost issue, fix it. All right, let's pack up and drive home. What a day. So much fun, such a sick track. Keen to work out why this thing is not boosting, it's being a dog. All right, joyful I'm thinking, joyful. Check out this snow. So, I didn't do an outro for that video because my camera had actually um, run out of memory. So, I've got to pull, obviously, everything off that camera because I've got so many videos on there. Um, but I'm back in Australia now. Um, I've got, like, six more videos to edit and then I'm going to continue uh, filming content while I'm here, getting my 34 done, getting a couple of cars here done uh, before I go back to Japan in five weeks. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you're enjoying all the videos. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. This is the outro. See you later.